ye shall be hated for my name's sake. People take that scripture like for granted. Like, you know, they they don't really believe that they're going to be hated. They don't they don't really and they don't, the most most people their life is not like mine, bro. It, this is this is something um rare, okay? Supernatural, okay? I did not plan to pick up my phone and record. But this is what he spoke to my spirit, my heart, and comforting me because of the hate that I am receiving in my reality. You know, the Father is sustaining me. I feel the love for my heavenly family. But I don't feel the love from people here on this earth. Um, I was in my group, my One Love group last night, the, Sh the Shima meeting. Um, and I felt the love last night, you know, um, as I shared from my heart, like literally um, how, uh, how I feel about um, this whole transgender thing. And people hating me because of it you know now they all took the time pretty much to love on me you know and um and that was during the meeting but nothing has changed outside of that meeting you know i still have no support on facebook you know, very few, I think three people over the span of two days, you know, responded to the video that I posted about the whole transgender thing um, that I posted yesterday. <coughs> and, um... It doesn't look like many people give a crap about it, even on my channel, you know? It has four likes on it, and it's not like I'm looking for, you know, clout. I'm not looking for, you know, people to just... <laughs> but yes, I'm looking for people to love. That's, that's the thing. Like, I'm not looking for, like, clout, though. But it's like, where... Like, where is the love on my channel, bro? Where is the love on my Facebook? Why is it like crickets, you know? Like, why are people afraid to support me in this? Because this is important, bruh. This is, you, you, do you understand how many people have committed suicide over this? People have committed suicide over this very issue. Not everybody that is gay is engaging in sexual activity. I'm not going to tell you who, but I know of someone... Um, that knew they were homosexual at an early age. And they never engaged into sexual activity until their 20s. But at an early age as a child and as a young man, you know, all of this, you know, they they knew that they were gay, but they were trying to, you know, do what they were, what, what people were forcing them to do. You know, people were the same way that they did me, bruh. The same way. Like, life is hell for us for a reason. And we don't choose this, okay? I did not choose 
to be the way I am, okay? I ain't choose this. <laughs> like, bro. Oh, my God. See, when I was younger, I tried to be normal. The same way as this other person that I know. I tried to be normal for those that I loved and cared for because I wasn't trying to be an embarrassment to them. They made me feel like I'm an embarrassment, you know? My peers hated me. <laughs> like, I was never popular in school. You know, all of these channels that I come across, all these YouTube channels, you know, the Hebrews that I listen to, the Brew channels, see, they were popular in school. Most of them were the cool kids, you know what I'm saying? From ev everyone that I've heard, you know, they talk about their, you know, their friends in high school. Bro, I had no friends in high school. I was an outcast, okay? And this is why these Hebrews don't accept me now, bro. It's the same, man. And I'm just seeing it. I'm seeing it. I'm like, Father, you set me apart in all things, you know? I am literally set apart, set aside. For his work. And can't nobody say that they did it. You know. Can't nobody take uh, credit. For anything that the father is going to do in my life. And he's making it very crystal clear. He's making it very crystal clear. That ain't nobody going to change things around for me but him. <laughs> My life has been hell, bro. My life has been fucking over to hell. <laughs> I just, I didn't even mean to start crying, bro. <laughs> but damn, bro, it's some bullshit sometimes, man. <laughs> I'm like full of love, bro. <laughs> And I get the most hate. It's unbelievable, bro. It's truly unbelievable. <laughs> I get the most hate, bro. And it be on my heart. And I try to talk to the Father, you know. And he just puts on my spirit. The same verse, bro. The same verse. He shall be hated. For my name's sake. And what I'm saying, bro, is that it's about your heart. It's about your actions and how you live your life, okay? It's not about your outward appearance. It's not about your social status. It's not about titles. It's not about any of these trivial things that people are so focused on. That shit is superficial, bro. And that's all I'm saying. And people think that that's wicked. <laughs> people think it's wicked. You're wicked because you don't wear dresses. <laughs> like, really, bro? Really? The things that mattered that the father told me to stop doing, I stopped doing. 
I stopped pursuing the sex change, even though I knew that that would be the only thing to make me fit in in this world, and then I would still be tortured. I'd be tortured within because then I'd be forced to live with whether I tell people or not. You know, do I be upfront about it? Do I be honest about it? And if I'm honest about it, then all hell break loose in my life. You know, I would never be free, no matter what I did, you know? Because I wanted to be the honest type of person. I never wanted to be the type of person to just deceive people and mislead people. But I also at the same time wanted to be me, without judgment, without ridicule. You know, that 3D virtual world was utterly heaven for me. Like, that was heaven on earth. Like, who would thought, you know, finally, I am free to be me, you know? And I was so comfortable there. I didn't, like, I had no desire to leave there and create a YouTube and, you know, preach to you. Because that's what people call it, okay? I'm just going to call it what people call it. All my life, people have, have told me, you know, that that I, I sound like a preacher. You know, I never said this. I never called myself no preacher. You know? But people say this to me. They've said this to me all my life. All these different people that don't know one another. You know? Uh, people have said you have an announcer type of voice. You have a radio disc jockey type of voice. You know, you should do uh, radio. Or so. Have you ever thought of getting in radio? You sound like a preacher. And, like, bro, like, this has been all my life. I've heard this. But I had, like, I didn't know that my life was going to end up like this. You know, I'm so happy with the Father. I'm so happy with my... My, my spiritual uh, heavenly family you know I know I have a group you know the one love group but bruh, that's that's you know when I'm in that group you know there's there's really no love outside of that group you know like what I explained earlier you know most of them ain't on my Facebook you know, and most of them all got their numbers, you know, they, I can't just call them, you know, they're, they're not really on my channel, you know, like, bro, so, I am alone in this, okay, It's almost like people are afraid. People are freaking afraid, you know, to support what they know in their heart is right. Oh, for fear that they are going to be rejected. They are too afraid to go through what I'm going through. Hey, bro. I guess the hardest part is over, you know, because I didn't know my almighty power. And because I didn't know him, you know, anything was liable to happen. Suicide, even. You know, many people take their life over this shit. But now that I know my father, my heavenly family... I know my eternal mother and my eternal father. And I know that they are sustaining me. And 
I do my best to be in obedience and walk accordingly to what they have spoken to me. So that's that that right there. I feel the love from my father, mother, you know, of the kingdom. But I don't feel the love upon this earth. And so he puts that scripture in my heart. Ye shall be hated for my name's sake. You know. If it, man, that it can't be no truer for me. It can't be no truer for me. Like I'm literally hated for his name's sake, bro. People hate me based upon stigmas. And labels, you know, they can give a shit less what my heart is like. They can care less that I have a pure heart. It's like that don't matter. <laughs> like, but that is what matters to the Father. You know, you think that all your external bullshit matters to the Father. Your fringes. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, you saw your fringe. I don't own not a stitch of clothing with fringes. Not none, bruh. I've been too poor to be able to afford fringes. And I spoke to the father and like when I first came into this Hebrew Israelite movement, I'm like, Father, I don't have the money to replace all my clothes with fringes and bro. It, Father's like, that does not matter, my child. These people worried about fringes, but can care less about the matters of the heart. Anyway, I'm not going to keep it. Cause I get I get so much on my plate to do. Um, I'm getting ready to upload. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Okay, I actually recorded this yesterday. Um, ye shall know them by their fruit, not by titles nor by outward appearances. That was on three seven twenty three. All right, and today is three eight twenty three. And, yeah, so, uh, I'm going to be compiling that one today, so I'll probably compile this one tomorrow. Who knows? And I have all of this other, I got Mene Mene to Cal that was recorded on 3-4. I, I have uh, You've Been Comfortable in Lucifer's Kingdom um, recorded on 3-1. Your Time's Up Against the Remnant. This is the Prophecy Coming for the Wicked recorded on 3-2. Um... Beliefs are irrelevant, recorded on 210. Uh, they still destroying ancient history, recorded on 36. Um, 21, I recorded decrease in order to increase by way of the Holy Spirit. Um, 27, I recorded we're not the ones who changed everything. And I still have 1029, the world has inherited lies. This is a lot that's on my plate. So I'm going to be getting to work for you um, because I do this to help people. I'm not doing this for clout. I'm not doing this for um, monetary gain of this world. No, the Father is sustaining me, and I'm very happy and content in what he's given unto me. So that being said, Shalom.